Hello and welcome to my screencast tutorial for the web tool TaxiDope. TaxiDope, for those who are unfamiliar, is a word cloud creator and I'll just quickly show you some examples that I got from the gallery. Now if I put the cursor, if I hover the cursor over top of the words, you'll see that they are highlighted and rotated appropriately so that we can read them. So now that we know what we're working with, how do we make our own? Well, go back to the home page, which can be found at www.taxido.com. And this blue box here is the starting point. Um, before I click on start now, you, if you choose, if you wanted to, you could actually make a word cloud using a uh, URL, uh, Twitter ID, delicious ID, news, search, or RRS feed. Um, or you can use a combination of uh, one, two, or three, or four items, or whatever. Uh, but let's click on Start Now, because once you get past that, the options are the same anyway. Now, when this opens up, it's going to give me um, a predetermined one, but I can quickly change that. So I'm going to go to Load, and again, um, I can enter more information. If I have a text file that has words that I want to make a word cloud out of, I can use that or a web page, which we've already seen. But I will put in a couple words. And you'll see that once I hit Submit, the word cloud will change. Now, while that's loading, you'll see at the bottom here, this is it gives you a summary of what you're working with already. So right now, we're working with a South America theme. Uh, Paper Cuts is our font. And then you can see the, the layout here. We can also, uh, and I'll show you how I can change those here in a second, I can do a full screen or I can zoom in on a particular part of the word cloud if I so choose. Let's make it a little bigger. Um, and then to click off that. Okay, uh, we'll get to save and share in a minute here. So if I want to change the colors, the color formatting will be the same. It's just that, like for instance, if you take a look at technology right here, if I hit the color spin, you'll see that it should change. Oh, no, I guess that's the one word that's not going to change. There it goes. Um, same thing with theme. I can respin any one of these and change it. If I wanted to change the theme and actually pick something rather than just rotate them through, here are all my choices. And I, um, let me just pick one here that I like, autumn leaves. Now, if I really like that and I don't want to make sure that it doesn't change, I'll just lock it. Same thing with font, uh, orientation. If I wanted to, let's do just horizontal. And again, you'll see that it's loading down here. Um, layout, or if I wanted to spin them all. But we'll leave it at that because uh, I'm just trying to quickly show you this. Shape, I can actually change the shape. So let's say if I wanted to go with an apple. And what ha if I wanted to invert it, what I would do, actually let's just click off this so you can see what the apple looks like. And then I'll go back. If I want to, this is a cool little feature because I can um, choose these other choices as well. But if I wanted to invert it so that the words were on the outside, I'd invert it and then uh, give it a second, and then now the words should come out uh, on the outside of the apple shape. So that's kind of cool. Um, if I make a mistake and I want to go back to something, here's my entire history of the changes that I've made. Um, so there I can go back to that. And that's a useful feature because once you get into this section here, the word and layout options, I'm not going to talk about all these, but you can change a whole bunch of stuff here. You can exclude things, add things, uh, change your frequency, and same thing with the layout. You can actually even skip words. Um, and there's one more option, advanced option. I can even play around with the lightness and darkness of the background, etc. Um, let's close out of here. Uh, I can share it on social media. Um, Taxido also has a gift store that you can buy t-shirts and that sort of thing if you so choose. Um, up here gives you more of those options. I can save it as an image onto my uh, computer. I can save it onto the web. I can print it 
which some people could, you could actually make your own t-shirts by printing it onto um, a special uh, format. Uh, thumbnail, and then of course advanced. Thumbnail has the same options as images, and then of course advanced. So I encourage you to give it a try. I know that your students will love it. Um, good luck, and uh, go for it.